A reading from Acts. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in hearts and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of your prophets did your ancestors did not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, and now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You're the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. And then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. And Saul approved of their killing him. So today we have the story of the stoning of Stephen. This is a story of an apostle turned martyr. Stephen, uh, credited to being one of the apostles to provide the first public sermon, is basically defending himself in a trial that was set against him as people were seeing him uh, do these things that people shouldn't usually do in regards to healing and teaching, doing the things that Jesus was doing, and uh, accused him, of course, of blaspheming and whatever else they could, just so that they could find a reason to put him to death. Because we are in the Acts of the Apostles, and because it is believed that it is authored by Luke, we also have to look at this story in the same way as if we were looking at Luke's Gospel. We have to look at the influence that social justice has on this particular story, because that is a key driving factor in the Gospel of Luke. Now, Stephen wasn't given a fair trial. And so there's many injustices happening here. There's the injustice of this false trial with all of its false accusations and false witnesses and false testimonies. But then most importantly, what the author is trying to tell us is that the people who were involved did not allow themselves to learn. They did not allow themselves to be opened up, especially to the Holy Spirit. And so instead of uh, a failure to learn, they learn to fail. They say failure happens when you don't learn from your mistakes. And so Stephen, in his sermon, as he's interpreting scripture uh, for their particular context to let them know that whatever laws that were beset before, you know, are usually superseded by different acts of either kindness or things that were happening at the time. And as he's recalling the history and different examples uh, from history and interpreting them for the people's ears to let them know that uh, they were able to do things uh, a little differently and that we should too. In doing so, they still fail to realize, to see that not everything is black and white. And so just like how their ancestors killed many of the prophets of old, they're continuing to do the same thing. And Stephen points out how they continue to add to all the things that led to Jesus' death. And because the people were not willing to open themselves up, well, here we are. And now they are taking Stephen's life as a result because they were not able to see from the past and learn from it. True failure comes when we don't learn from our mistakes, when we don't learn from the areas where we've fallen short. 
we are to take what we have learned and apply it to the future. In this situation, Stephen is pointing out that because of their failure, their true failure, history continues to repeat itself. And so this story teaches us, the reader, to learn from the mistakes of those in the past, to learn from the mistakes of those who mistreated the prophets, to learn from the mistakes of those who did not open themselves up to the Holy Spirit. Don't let mob mentality rule you. And learn from those mistakes in the past. Learn how things could have been different. Learn about other ways of approaching a situation. This stoning of Stephen is an example that we need to be able to always look for different perspectives, to learn from the things that have happened in the past and to not get too carried away. True failure is not an option, but it's all about how we move forward and moving forward in such a way where we no longer hurt those who are coming to us with the Holy Spirit. Amen.